Hi, this is the Linux Gaming Review, and uh, we're here to debunk a few myths about gaming on Linux systems. As you can see, I've got Lord of the Rings Online up and running at the moment. Uh, this is a Hunter class character, and uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the options to show you actually how well you're able to run this. Uh, as you can see, I'm running DirectX 9 settings. Uh, DirectX 10 and 11 support is coming in. It's in the works when that's done and it gets set up properly you'll be able to play this and it'll look just as good as it does on your Windows system even with DirectX 9 it looks very well uh, I'm using a custom screen resolution uh, I don't run full screen I've got all my settings here uh, I had to increase the ambient light but that's not a major deal really I mean I'm running it on my Linux system it just came out a little darker I've got my advanced graphics stuff here. Animation smoothness is on medium. Everything else is pretty much on high, except for uh, frill distance. Uh, yeah, don't have DirectX interactive, 11 interactive with water. Uh, DX10. You know, this is this really isn't a bad setting. It gives. I run just about the same settings on my uh, Windows partition anyway. Uh, I've got my sound set up. It automatically picked up Pulse Audio. Uh, I've got EAX. I can sit there. I can use Voice Enabled if I want. I really, there, there's really nothing this does other for playing it that you can't do on Windows. Uh, so using this this type of game as an excuse just really doesn't cut it. Uh, over time, I'm going to try to throw in a couple of other um, games that can be launched and played on Linux systems without too much trouble. Uh, but really, just everything works great. The sound quality is good. Animations and stuff are smooth. I haven't had any trouble. I haven't found many games that I have played and do play that I do have trouble. I mean, I've played this. I've played World of Warcraft, EverQuest, EverQuest 2. Um, let's see. Ultima Online. It's an oldie, but it's still there, and I still play it. You know, there's just all kinds of games that people sit there and try to use as excuses for not trying out Linux systems. Well, I can't play my favorite games. Can't play my favorite games. Well, I'll tell you what. You go over to winehq.org and you go to their app database and you search for a game. Find out if you can run it. Some Linux distributions do have problems with certain games. Other ones do really well with them. Uh, this is Linux Mint 10's release candidate edition. Uh, I haven't had really any trouble. Um, I actually do some work for a couple of um, uh, volunteer based gaming magazines or gaming news sites and uh, on their websites for games that I play I have been doing uh, guides on how to get them set up on uh, Debian based systems because that's what I prefer using. So. Uh, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. If I got a guide for it written up, I'll send you a link back to it. And, you know, just really make sure you investigate. Because this isn't the Linux of five years ago. It's not the Linux of ten years ago. It's really changed. Uh, there's so many myths out there that really need debunked. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work on it, especially from the standpoint of uh, gaming. So until next time, have a great day and get out there and play some games.